everyone, my name is Lance, and this is Amped About Aimpad. For today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate a new feature that we've been working on uh, for a very specific game called Grand Theft Auto V. Um, so, in order to demonstrate that, I think I'll just go ahead and jump into the game and uh, show you what we've been working on. Alright, so here we have Grand Theft Auto V, a game I'm sure you've heard of, but it actually is a very, very good game to demonstrate the effectiveness of an analog keyboard, particularly because of how much emphasis there is on driving vehicles. Um, there was something that we ran into in this particular game that uh, was something that created somewhat of an engineering challenge for us. So when you're playing Grand Theft Auto with a keyboard, typically you use WASD to uh, move forward, left, and right, and use the mouse to, to aim with, right? Um, when you get into a vehicle, you push F, and that lets you get into the car, and you still use WASD to accelerate the car and to turn left and right. That's all pretty standard. The problem here for aimpad is that the aimpad keyboard is acting basically as an Xbox 360 controller. So if I press this button, this switches me from the normal keyboard mode that I was just in, and now that the, the LEDs are blue, that lets me know that I'm in aimpad mode. Um, and that makes the W, A, S, and D key the left analog stick of an Xbox 360 controller, and all the other keys are exactly the same. Um, this is fine when you're on foot, because you can move around in, in all your directions just as if you were using left stick and you still use the mouse to, to uh, aim at the same time. However, when you get into a car, let me push my F key, um, the game is hard-coded with an Xbox controller to assume that the right analog trigger is to make your vehicle go forward. However, we have W is the left analog stick, so when I push W, nothing happens, right? And S doesn't make me go backwards, so that's a problem. So we decided to add an additional mode for games particularly like this, where uh, if we push F2, that switches into a driving mode, and that changes it so that W is now the right, an right analog trigger, and S is the left analog trigger. So now when I push W, it makes me drive forward, and, and S makes me go backwards, but still have A and D as the left analog stick. Um, so essentially the concept here is that when I get out of a car, I push F1, that lets me run around with my normal analog stick, and then when I push F to get in, the animation process is delayed enough that I can push F2 at the same time and still be able to get in the car and drive like I would normally expect to with a WASD. So you get the, the benefit of, of all aspects of how you would drive and, and interact with the game using WASD with the limitation that since you cannot remap any of the analog functions for uh, an Xbox controller, um, because they're anticipating that if, you ha if you're using an X Xbox controller, it's going to be an Xbox controller. Uh, however, we're not, so we have to kind of implement that workaround. But I think it's, it's uh, fairly slick and seamless for the, the uh, gamer that wants to take full advantage of getting in and out of vehicles. So basically, F1 is foot mode, F2 is driving mode, and you switch back and forth between those with no problem. Um, so what I'd like to kind of demonstrate here is if I push this aimpad key, it switches me back to normal keyboard mode, uh, the LEDs are red. Um, you'll notice that if I push A to, to turn to the left just a small amount, nothing actually happens uh, with the steering wheel because there is a dead space of about two millimeters of key press that the key is not registered when you push that. So that's a small disconnect because I want to turn left, but there's a delay in that key press as I'm pushing it so that I, I'm not actually turning left when I want to. But then as soon as I pass that threshold where the connect, where the connection happens in the cherry switch, uh, I am now fully turning left completely, right? And anyone that, that's driven in Grand Theft Auto V with a keyboard knows the experience of what it's like because it's a constant action of tapping and tapping to fight the uh, dead zone that you have and the uh, full key press. So it's not a very uh, fun driving experience, it's pretty reckless uh, and annoying. But if you contrast that, if I switch it back to aimpad mode, if I push in the A key just a small amount, you'll see the, the steering wheel will actually turn a small amount in proportion to how far I'm pushing it down. So if I keep on pushing it down a little bit more, it keeps turning a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, all the way. So I have full range of motion of that steering wheel left and right all the way as much as I want. Same thing with acceleration. If I wanted to drive really slow for whatever reason I could, 
Um, and can drive faster and faster and faster and faster and go all the way. So, um, and it also allows you to feather the brake and things like that. So, um, it does give you a full, full control over the, the car that, that you normally don't have with a keyboard. Um, and you can tell it, it's, it's a pretty smooth driving experience. Whoa, I was uh, watching the minimap there. Um, so what I'd like to do is also demonstrate uh, motorcycles real quick because I think motorcycles really exacerbate the issue in terms of the ability to steer. So I know I have a motorcycle back in my house. So I'm gonna get out here, push F1, and uh, that's not my house. <laughs> Over here. So I'll push F to get on the bicycle, push F2 to uh, switch to driving mode. Um, actually, I'll show, show you back with a keyboard first. So when I'm using a keyboard, um, when I'm steering my motorcycle, you can tell it yanks really hard left and right. And even if I'm just barely tapping the key, it's, it's a big lean. Uh, and it's really hard to drive motorcycles in this game. I know you can do it, and I'm doing it now pretty well, but no one drives a motorcycle like that. That's ridiculous. What they do is uh, go back to aimpad mode. You can see the, the significant difference. The way that I lean left and right is... Uh, well, I'm in a cul-de-sac here. Let me turn around. Um, you can tell how big of a difference it is that I'm leading just slightly left and right because that's exactly how you would drive a motorcycle. You lean left and right just a small amount to, to keep yourself upright and going wherever you want to go nice and smooth. Um, full control. And then so you might be thinking, alright, well yeah that's great, well why don't I just plug in an Xbox controller, have it sitting on my lap and uh, when I want to run around on foot, I use my keyboard and mouse for my fine aiming, but then when I want to pick up my uh, driving capabilities, I'll just pick up the, the Xbox controller. Well, the problem with that is we're still using the right analog stick for an Xbox controller, which pretty much sucks for aiming. Um, that's why I have my mouse to aim with, so I can actually drive my motorcycle with full control and aim exactly where I want to at the same time without uh, losing any accuracy whatsoever. Oh yeah, sorry. I guess that was a bad idea. <laughs> so anyways, uh, pretty big difference in terms of what it's like to play Grand Theft Auto with an analog keyboard. So I think I'll just end this video by trying to create as much havoc as I possibly can while on my motorcycle until I either get busted or die. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Alright. Sorry. No better way to cause havoc than to kill a few cops. Oh, look at our friend. That was quick. Alright, so there you go. The new feature we developed specifically for Grand Theft Auto V, the driving mode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I haven't played the game very long, so I haven't been able to unlock the flying vehicles like the helicopter and uh, airplane and things like that. Uh, but I hope to be able to demonstrate the effectiveness of aimpad keys for those vehicles as well at some point. 
but uh, stay tuned for that. If you would uh, be interested in that, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, any comments you might have. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good one.